G'day guys, my name is Will Hooper and today I'm going to show you how to wire up a two volume, two tone configuration like a Les Paul would have in the guitar. So, let's get into it. So here's the things you're going to need. You're going to need two 500k ohm volume pots and the way you can tell the difference between volume and a tone pot is you have a look on them. See how it says A500k? Now the A is the tone pot and over here we have B500k right there. That's how you can tell this one is a volume pot. The B is volume and the A is tone. So you're going to need two of, two of each in the 500k ohms. You're also going to need three-way toggle switch or any three-way switch will do really. And then quarter inch jack. Also don't forget about your tone capacitors like I did while filming the video. So we're going to flip her over onto the back. These are our volume, these are our tone. And what you want to start to do is if you have a wiring diagram, you can use that, or you can just follow along as I say so. To start off with, we're going to want to ground each individual pot, so you run one wire from each pot all the way to the others. And what you want to do there is you want to scuff up the backs with a little bit of sandpaper or emery tape in my case, because when you try to solder to them, if you've scuffed up the back, the solder will want to stick a lot better. It's just much easier if you scuff up the back of them first before you start soldering. Alrighty, once you have all your wires made up, what you want to do is go to the back of the pots and put a little bit of solder in the middle of each one. Now you know you've done a good solder joint when it looks like it's water on the back. Now, once you have all the pots that have the solder on the back of them, what you want to do, you want to get your wire, heat it up a little until the solder goes on it, or it sticks to the solder. Yep. And then you want to connect that to the other pot. and do the same to all the wires, bridging them across so everyone is touching. You may need to add a little bit extra solder just to make sure the joint is nice. And when you're finished, it should look something like this. Now, before we go any further, I forgot to do this in the video, but then I realized halfway through. What I want you to do is grab the right leg of the volume pots and I want you to bend it up so it's touching the metal part of the um, pot. Then the next part I want you to do is, I want you to solder the two together so they make connection between this leg and the back of the pot, because this will be our ground connection. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get a wire running from the left leg of both the volume pots to go into the middle leg of the tone pots. So again, I'll get some more wire, measuring how much I need, and cutting it off. It's a pair of side cutters, doing the same thing again. Once your wires are made, put them in the middle hole of the volume pot, make sure it sits there right, get your soldering iron, and put just a little bit of solder if the wire doesn't want to sit there properly, you might maybe just want to put the solder on the, the pot first, on the little lug. These little things are called lugs here. So put your soldering iron into it. Yep, once it goes, goes solid, then you know you're good. Oh, and you know what I've just realized? I've put it in the wrong lug. Whoopsie daisies. So I'll take that out. I'll then do this lug or leg, whatever you want to call it. I'll get this middle lug ready on the volume pot. I mean, sorry, tone pot. I will get things wrong, but I will surely correct it. And if not, I'll notice in editing. Now you want to do the same thing from going from here, same coming from here to there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run our wires from our pots directly to the switch. So you want to measure and cut your wires to size. I already have. I don't know how big your wires are. You will have to measure that yourself. But for the sake of this, I'm just, I've made mine 30 centimetres long. The way this works is, is one wire will come from this pot, and when that's in that position, it will control the volume of whatever pickup you're using. So what you want to do is, you want to get some solder into the middle lug of your pots, on both of them, and then you want to stick your wire through that middle lug or leg. I'll repeat that on the same side. Now we have two wires coming out. Now what you want to do is, is you want to get some solder on the outer legs or lugs of the switch. So I'll get some on there. Bend this one out just a little bit so I've got extra space. Get some solder on here. Then what I do is, I take my wire that's coming from this pot here, and I'm pretty sure that one goes on this outer one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the solder on there. Now I'm going to connect this wire to the outer leg. 
making sure my join looks exactly like water, which it does. So that's good. Now we can move on to the next part. Rightio, now I'm going to show you whereabouts you connect your tone capacitors go. Now these ones are bipolar, meaning they can go either way. Just watch out whatever capacity you're using. I don't think I've ever seen any ones that aren't bipolar, but either way, watch out which way you're connecting them up. Yeah, these are the wrong capacitors. They, they're the bigger sized ones. I have some on order, they just haven't come for this video, so I just decided to rip some off another one, just so I could show you guys how to wire this up. So what you wanna do is you wanna stick this inside that right leg, get your soldering on, put a bit of solder through, just like it's a regular wire. And then, you wanna get this other leg here from the capacitor, you wanna bend it, just so it stays in place, so it's for easier soldering. And then you wanna get it to stick to the back of the pot, along with all the other wires you just put on there earlier. Rightio, so this one's connected up. Now you wanna do the exact same thing on the other tone capacitor. So, again, get these out of the way. Now you wanna shove it through the right hand leg again. Again, a bit of solder on it. Then you wanna bend the leg, put the bit of solder on so it's connecting to all the other ground wires on the back. And then you're all good. You now have your capacitors soldered on. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get, you start getting your wires from the back of the pot to the jack. So that one will be your ground wire. Get the wire on the back again. This one will be your last wire that you have to put from the back of the pots. So now you'll see these three little pins sticking out of your output jack. So the one on this pin on the outside here, that is your positive wire. And the one on the middle is your ground or negative wire. So you want to just put some solder on that. Sorry if my arm gets in the way, but you want to heat soldering iron up and stick your wire through the hole. And then the next wire, your positive wire, you want to put on the jack. Once you soldered the end of the positive wire into the jack, you want to get the end of the wire. And what you want to do is you want to go to the switch. You see the two metal plugs that are crossed in the middle. You want to thread it through both of them. And the easiest way to do it is bend it around so it makes a little hook. Get your soldering iron, put it on one side. That's soldered on. Solder the other side of the hook. And we're all good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our pickups. So you want to find out which one is your bridge and neck. Most of the time on the back of them it says B or N. So this one says N, so that's my neck pickup. And this one's our bridge pickup because it says B on it. So what you want to do is, this one is your neck pickup. So what you want to do, have a look at the wires. This one is only got two wires on it. So your white one, that's going to be your positive wire. And this bare wire here, that's your negative wire. Now, since I'm making a wiring harness for people to buy, I'm not actually going to solder these in, but I'm going to be using these jumper cables just to clip them on for easy things. But you're going to solder yours in, because so you're going to solder onto this wire. You'll either need some heat shrink or you'll need some electrical tape to cover up the ends of the wires so you don't want them, them to touch anything else. So that, that's exposed at the moment, so if that were to touch to there, nothing would happen when you turn this on. So you've got to have, make sure that nothing can touch your wires. Once you have your wires soldered, like I definitely have, these are soldered, you want to get the ends of them, and what you want to do is you take the positive wire, and since you're going from the neck pickup, you go to your neck volume pot, and you go to the left hand lug, and you're going to solder it in there. I'm only clipping it on because mine's only temporary. And then what you want to do is you get the negative wire, and that goes on the back here. Oh, I'm just going to connect it to there at the moment. But it can go to anywhere on the back there, because all of it goes to ground, and it's all going to the same place. So as long as it's connecting to this ground loop that you had at the start, you're going to be fine. And technically right now, I could do a bench test, but I'm going to finish off by doing the exact same thing to my bridge pickup. You want to get your wires again. See this one's got black instead of a bear so it's still the same thing. Black or bear that's always going to be your ground. So I'm going to get my ground, do that. And then I'm going to get my white or red or sometimes yellow or blue. All the coloured ones are usually positive. And what I'm going to do is get my ground, put it in that ground loop we created at the start of the video. Honestly you could even go to there if you want but yeah it's all the same. I like to put it in different places it's a little neater. Well as neat as this mess of wires looks like anyway. And then what you want to do for your bridge is you go to this other volume pot and you put it on the left leg of your other volume pot and now you've got your two pickups here and now you're ready to test with an amp all right so if you notice how if i touch the metal part of this selector switch you'll hear that my amp buzzes a little bit that's because we haven't got a ground end wire in here yet so what your ground wire does is it goes to this bridge i've already got one clipped on 
where you want to put this is, you know where you put everything from the ground on the back of the pot? You want to run a wire from there. Because what happens is, you touch the strings, it grounds the thing. So, notice how I'm touching this. So, this represents me touching the strings while playing a guitar. Now I touch this, there's no, oh, um, what's it called, buzzing from my amp. So, the buzzing's gone. So always make sure you got your ground wire, because if I stop touching that, it's back again. So yeah, just remember that. Anyway, back to pick up selecting switch. So I'm going to flick it to neck. Nothing. Go for this one. Good. Switch to bridge. Nothing from this one. Everything from this one. So my wiring works. Yeah, so my wiring harness is now finished and it's ready to send out to someone to buy. Rightio, so hopefully your wiring harness is complete and you didn't have any troubles with it. If you guys would like us to do a future video on something else you'd like us to do, leave it in the comments and we might do it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.